Navina to the Holy Spirit. Day 3. Wisdom. Consider, brothers, how you were called. Not many of you are wise by human standards, not many influential, not many from noble families. No, God chose those who by human standards are fools to shame the wise. He chose those who by human standards are weak to shame the strong. It is by him that you exist in Christ Jesus who for us was made wisdom from God. 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 26, 27 and 29. Reflection. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom, Psalm chapter 111. For wisdom is not acquired through human effort but through God's grace and revelation. It can only be given by the Spirit of God to those who are fully open in their lives to Him. Am I willing to be weak before God, to recognize my need for Him to be my strength? All the degrees and diplomas the world has to offer cannot explain to us the mystery or the simplicity of God. Only He can open our eyes to begin to see as He sees, to love as He loves. The gift of wisdom is a journey into the heart of God prayer. Come, O Spirit of Wisdom. Bend our proud hearts and stubborn wills empty us of all folly and facade reveal to us the mysteries of your ways so that we may follow you in humility and trust. Amen. Prayer of Consecration to the Holy Spirit. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, body and soul to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you, I live and move. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light, and listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you, by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, and trusting in his precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son to say to you always and everywhere, Speak Lord for your servant is listening. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, before ascending into heaven, you promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and only desire the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may always choose the way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God and myself and grow perfect on the path to holiness. The spirit of piety that I may seek to serve God and his church and the spirit of fear and awe that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and inspire me in all things with your Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.